Hi everybody, welcome to Funky Phonics. I'm Claire and this is Felix. Say hello Felix. He's our phonics fox and he helps us learn our phonemes, which is just the proper word for sounds. Now Felix, you look a bit hot there today. Why are you wearing a scarf? Oh, I'm going to take it off because you look warm. But he put the scarf on because we're learning the s sound today. And scarf starts with s. So let's have a look at our letter. This is the letter S. This is the capital letter, which is nice and easy because it looks exactly like the lowercase letter. Yeah, they look the same. And the sound they make is s. Can you say that with me? You have to do a great big smile, put your teeth together and your tongue just behind. Like that. Can you ever try s? It's like a snake hissing, isn't it? Can you do it, Felix? And this is our rhyme. Snakes are slithering. So let's have a little look and listen to our rhyme for today. Snakes are slithering, snakes are slithering, snakes are slithering, s s s. Snakes are slithering, snakes are slithering, snakes are slithering, s s s. Okay, shall we do that together? This is the action for a slithering snake. Snakes are slithering, snakes. Are slithering snakes, are slithering. S -s -s -s. Good job. S for sports, surfing, soccer, swimming, skipping. I've got some Play-Doh here and I'm going to make some things beginning with s. First I'm going to squish it and squeeze it, get our fingers nice and strong. I'm going to break a bit off. I'm going to make a snake first, so I'm going to roll it between my fingers and my hands. Make it nice and long like a sausage. And then I'm going to curve it round. And I'm going to make my snake. There we go. Hmm, what other things can I make? I'm going to make a snail. And grab a bit more Play Doh. I'm going to roll it again into a long sausage. And then this time I'm going to roll it around into the snail's shell, pinch some little antennae, and there's my snail. I might try a star this time. Okay, I'm going to take a ball, I'm going to roll it round in between my hands again. This time I'm going to make a ball shape. And then I'm going to pinch with my fingers some different star-shaped points. Could be a star or a starfish. It's my star. Finally, I'm going to make a sun. I'm going to roll a ball again. And then I'm going to flatten it down. Squash, squash, squash. Then I'm going to make the rays of the sunshine. I need a little bit of Play-Doh. And I'm going to roll it with just my fingers this time and place it on my sun. This is good for your fingers, makes them nice and strong, ready for holding pencils when you're a bit older. There we go. I have a snake, a snail, a star and a sun. What could you make? Slithering snake sliding on the rocks. Slithering snake finds a stripy sock. Mm. Slithering snake has no feet to put it on. So slithering snake quickly slides along. Slithering snake sliding on the ground. Slithering snake, what have you found? Mm. Slithering snake has found a yummy cake. Slithering snake now has a bellyache. 
Okay, Felix, I'm just going to sit you down here for a moment so I can show everybody one of the activities we're going to have a go at this week to practice our sounds. So we've got these two pictures, which you can find if you go to our website, funkyponics.com.au. You go to the resources part, there's a pair of socks and there's a snake. You can choose which one you'd like to do and you can decorate them with your crayons or your textures. Okay, so you can decorate with some stripes. It's lots of different colours, stripes, or you could add some spots there onto your snake, some more, or if you have some stickers at home, you can use some stickers. We've got some spot stickers you can stick on here, and we've also got some star stickers, but it doesn't really matter if they're not things, they're stickers, so you can stick them on at home and decorate your snake or your pair of socks. You can find that on our website. Okay, let's play a little game of I Spy. Can you see the picture? Let's have a look. What can you see that starts with S? I can see a snake. I can see a sandcastle. What can you see behind the tree? Can you see Santa hiding there? I can see the sun. I can see a horse. That doesn't start with s. I can see some stars. I can see a satellite in the sky. There's a pair of socks on the floor. Can you see those? I can see a scarecrow. Is there anything else? Is there anything else you can see? What's that hanging from the tree? And what do you like to ride on? Not the car, because that starts with K. How about scooter? Thank you so much for watching today. I really hope you enjoyed it. Mums or dads, if you click the subscribe button below, you'll get notification for the next episode. And give us a like or a comment. If you would like any extra resources to go with this session, click on www.funkyphonics.com.au. We look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye!